Does everybody know what TIA stands for? Totally in action? No, it's totally integrated automation. And please welcome up the two experts on stage, Annemarie Lötsch and Stefan Schott. Yeah, so I personally also liked the totally in action. <laughs> but no, uh, TIA stands for totally integrated automation. So very warm welcome to our presentation about machine automation. So machine automation, hmm, that sounds like a broad field. That sounds like maybe complex processes. And it sounds like many subsystems that have to interact with each other. But in our case, it's not that complicated, right, Stefan? No, not at all. There are three core phases, design, engineering, and operation. And for all, I only need one software, the TIA portal. With this, I can quickly generate and operate my machine. Now, let's take a look at how this works exactly. Therefore, we need, first of all, of course, a machine. Here at the fair, we have a real machine. It's over there. You can have a look. But hmm, as you can see, you can't see anything. It's too far away. But that's not a problem. We will use these classes to call up a digital twin of our machine. So this is a functional model of the machine in a virtual world. And to make sure that you can follow along, we will stream it live onto the screen here. So now you are able to see what Stefan is seeing. So first of all, yourself. So give us a wave. Yay. <laughs> and now we can also see the digital twin of our machine. Wow, so isn't that cool? In our machine, many components ensure that everything works. And in the era of digitalization, the TIA portal is the central engineering tool for all of them. Here, we find the same components as in our machine. So first of all, of course, controllers, which are basically the heart of our machine. Then, of course, we also have HMIs here, which are, to say it in other words, the face of our machine. And then, of course, we also have drives and many more components in here. And as you want your machines and people to be protected, we also offer you integrated safety and security functionalities. In that way, you also protect your know-how in production. OK. These are the basic components of our machine. Next, we can move on to the design. At this point, I would like to explain a little bit about digitalization. Design is the first phase in the value chain of your machine. Once it has been designed, it will be engineered, built, commissioned, and analyzed to make it even more efficient. Digital support in all these steps makes it possible to get the most out of your machines. This also includes a data platform for global access therefore idly cloud-based. We call this MindSphere. It is the open cloud-based operating system by Siemens. This enables you to continuously improve your machine and plant. And the TIA portal is the one tool that guides you through the whole process. Now, isn't that user-friendly? It definitely is user-friendly. So then let's start working. And let's start with step one, the design and planning phase. Therefore, we will use the TIA selection tool. So Stefan, come on over here to our field PG and have a closer look. The field PG is our programming device for industrial usage. It supports you from the design or planning phase over the automation engineering itself and up to service deployments. Here you see the interface of the TIA selection tool. It allows me to select and also configure all the required automation components for my machine. So in our case, that are, for example, the different controllers or also the operator panels. Now we're done. We have finished our device design in the TIA selection tool. You can now forward your planning data into your planning software, such as Aplan, for further electrical planning. When finished, you can export the entire combined data and continue to process it in the TIA portal. This is easily done with AML, the standardized interface 
called Automation Markup Language that spares you redundant work. Yes, and standards are always important, right? Not only for the data exchange. Exactly. And that's why we're going to take another look at this, a closer one. In fact, standards are the basis of digitalization. Because standards are what make it possible to design modular machines and combine them flexibly. To achieve this, you first identify all recurring functionalities and then develop standards for them. For our conveyor belt, for example, these would be modules for logic, operating screens, or interfaces, and all with clear structures. Wow, that's a lot. And this is also the reason why you need a good management system for those standards. In the TIA portal, you do this with the libraries. They allow you to efficiently manage all your standard function blocks, standard data types, or standard screens. In that way, you can easily reuse those standards for all following machines. And just like everywhere else, the same holds true here. Two work faster than one. Translated to the TIA portal, this means multi-user engineering. This feature enables multiple automation engineers to work on the same solution, thereby increasing efficiency and saving time. Well, Anne-Marie, now, what are you doing? You're also multiplying. Now, that's convenient. Well, one of you goes to work, the other one goes shopping, and the third might go to the gym. Yeah, so I personally prefer to go to the cinema, but yeah, you're right, it is convenient. But all joking aside, now we've manually configured our machine. And wouldn't it be great if from now on everything, everything would be done automatically? Because the faster it goes, the more flexible you can answer on the individual requirements of your customers. So you no longer have to go through the long process of putting the individual parts of your machine together by hand. Instead, we can generate the whole thing. We were just talking about standard modules. Now these will be deployed. Using the TIA portal openness interface, you can automatically generate your programming code out of these standardized objects. And by using CVARC, the semantic visualization architect, you can even generate the corresponding visualization for your machine. Do you know what? This even works for your entire plant. But now, let's move on to operations. There are various ways to boost efficiency or monitor processes during ongoing operation. Hey, Anne-Marie, you won't mess me up with that. Neither will it bother you nor your machine. If, shall we say, a process error occurs during ongoing operation, ProDiac, our diagnostic solution, can help. It not only immediately identifies the cause of the error, it also resolves the issue. And thanks to the code viewer, you can view your program code directly on the HMI without any engineering system needed so you immediately know exactly where the error is. Or in our case, who it is. Right, yes. Anne-Marie. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stefan. I'm sorry. But you not only want to run your machine steadily, you also run want to run it cost-effectively. And therefore, you can, for example, increase the energy efficiency with the help of the Zematic Energy Suite. This is the integrated energy data recording system that is already integrated in the TIA portal. And it works by the click of a button. And it yep. even goes one step further. With the energy efficiency monitor, you can combine those energy data with the operating state of your machine, of your plant. And this increases, of course, the energy transparency. And as you all know, energy transparency is the basis for ongoing optimization of your machine. And in the end, this will save you a lot of money. Your plant is rounded off with a connection to MindSphere, the platform that makes all important productive production data available worldwide. 
the associated analysis applications can reveal the optimization potential of your machine and plant. And that saves you even more. Yes, and that's it. So now we've went through the whole engineering process of machine automation. And we used the TIA portal for all required steps. So remember, we started with the planning phase. Then we went over to the engineering itself. And in the end, we even optimized our machine for ongoing operation. And again, all with the TIA portal. If you want to learn more, let's meet over at the re-machine. There are two ladies who will guide you to the machine. We will also be there. We'll be happy to go over all the details. And this time, without anyone triggering the alarm. <laughs> yes, right. I promise. So thank you a lot for your attention. Take care. And see you in a second at the TIA portal.